New York Giants completely turned around their franchise in just one year. The Giants delivered a surprisingly good 2022 season, defying the sportsbook's forecast of a seven-win season and ended with an impressive 9-7-1 record. The team's determination and skill were on full display when they clinched a victory in a playoff game against the Minnesota Vikings. The Giants success story wouldn't be complete without mentioning the phenomenal contributions of coach Brian Dayball. After joining the Giants, Dayball brought a new era of innovation to the team, exceeding all expectations in his first year as head coach. His exceptional leadership didn't go unnoticed as he was deservingly awarded the Coach of the Year trophy. Notably, Dayball's departure from the Buffalo Bills seemed to have a tangible impact on their superstar quarterback, Josh Allen, who seemed to regress without Dayball there. With Dayball at the helm, there is a palpable excitement surrounding the Giants, and many feel that the team may be on the cusp of a new golden era in New York. Giants quarterback Daniel Jones was recently given a four-year, $160 million contract, positioning him as the seventh highest paid quarterback on a per-year basis, raking in $40 million each season. Jones is a former sixth overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft from Duke, but has yet to clock in more than 3,300 passing yards in any of his past four seasons. His stats include a solid 64% completion percentage and a 2-to-1 touchdown-to-interception ratio, and shows impressive discipline with only five interceptions last season. His average QBR sits at a respectable 86.5. Jones is not just an arm though, he's surprisingly effective as a runner and possesses just enough speed to be a dangerous rushing threat to any defense. The jury's still out on whether if he is a franchise quarterback or not, but it's clear the Giants felt confident in retaining him with this huge deal. As it stands, I'd place Daniel Jones somewhere around the middle when comparing him to other starting quarterbacks in the league. It will be interesting to see if Jones can continue to elevate his game under coach Brian Dayball's offensive strategy this upcoming season. The New York Giants have made a savvy move by trading for tight end Darren Waller, giving up a third round draft pick in the process. Waller, who is best known for his two seasons with the Raiders amassing over a thousand receiving yards, in both 2019 and 2020. Waller should instantly become the primary target for Giants quarterback Daniel Jones. However, Waller does come with an injury history, but when fit, there's little debate that he ranks among the NFL's top tight ends. His addition will significantly boost the Giants passing game that has been searching for a reliable receiving threat since the departure of Odell Beckham Jr. The new presence of Waller on the field should add another dimension to the Giants offense and his potential impact is something that I am eager to see unfold. Before we talk about the Giants running back Saquon Barkley, remember to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos just like this. Giants running back Saquon Barkley is making waves, refusing to sign the franchise tag with the Giants at $10 million, as he seeks a long-term deal with the team. His commitment is clear, having expressed his desire to be a Giant for life. He's certainly earned his stripes since being picked second overall in the 2018 NFL Draft, even nabbing the AP Offensive Rookie of the Year award. There's no doubt that Barkley brings an unmatched dynamic to the Giants offense. However, the uncertainty lies in his ability to maintain his health. When he's on the field though, Barkley is comfortably within the league's top five running backs, but he needs to stay healthy throughout the whole season if the Giants want to make a run in the playoffs. While the value of the running back position has seen a decline recently, it's questionable whether the Giants can truly compete without Barkley's talent in the backfield. More than just an outstanding runner, Barkley is also a receiving threat, having made a notable 91 receptions in his rookie year alone. The decision about his contract could greatly impact the future of the team. The Giants wide receiving core is perhaps the most prominent question mark with this team. The group is made up of Paris Campbell, Isaiah Hodgins, Darius Slayton, and Jamison Crowder, 
who don't quite measure up when compared to their divisional counterparts such as A.J. Brown, C.D. Lamb, and Terry McLaurin. As none of the Giants receivers are widely seen as wide receiver one threats. The team has also just drafted Jalen Hyatt from Tennessee, a player known for his impressive speed and big play potential. Given the Giants are going all in on Daniel Jones, it's crucial for the Giants to continue to provide him with the necessary weapons. However, with the 24th pick in the NFL Draft, they missed out on a surge of first round receivers, including Jackson Smith and Jigba, Quentin Johnston, Zay Flowers, and Jordan Addison. The Giants will be keen to see which of their receivers steps up this season. The early buzz from the Giants training camp suggests Paris Campbell might be the one to watch, but it's a crowded field of fairly average options vying for the spotlight. The New York Giants defense placed 25th in the league last year. Last season, allowing 358.2 yards per game and 5.65 yards per play, which clearly needs improving, especially given the powerhouse offense they'll face in the NFC East. The Giants' defense is structured around their dominant defensive line, featuring standouts like Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence, and 2022 fifth overall pick, Kayvon Thibodeau. Thibodeau began showing his immense potential in the latter half of his debut season. However, the linebacker's struggle to plug gaps last year was a weak point, hurting the run defense significantly. To address this, Giants general manager Joe Shane brought in veteran Bobby Okarike in the offseason. According to Pro Football Focus, Okarike was the top graded defensive player among all Giants linebackers last season. With Okarike's addition and the promise of their defensive line, the Giants are looking to substantially bolster their defense this year. Navigating the NFC East could be a tough sale for the New York Giants this season, especially considering their record of nine wins last year. They'll be up against formidable teams like the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles, both elite teams, along with the increasingly competitive Washington Commanders. The Giants had a disheartening 0-5 record against the Cowboys and Eagles last season, even suffering a crushing 38-7 defeat in their playoff game in Philadelphia. Given this backdrop, it could be a challenge to place much faith in the Giants, who presently seem to be only the third strongest team within their own division. However, under the leadership of coach Brian Dayball, there is a sense of cautious optimism that the Giants are gradually laying the foundation for a stronger team in New York. Let us know in the comments how many wins you think the New York Giants will get this year, and if you believe Daniel Jones is the long-term answer at quarterback. And as always, thanks for watching Real Friends in Football, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this.